What's up guys, it's I tend to go beast mode and here we go to Skyrim. Uh, and this is just this is just one of those games. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna show you the beginning too much of what happens, but basically once you walk out into this world, you're just like whoa. And that's almost exactly what I did. And you can kinda see I was just looking around, I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me. Like I mean I've heard uh, how you know open the world is how beautiful it is there how you can goes. go anywhere uh, and it's you can watch all the videos you want you can watch my video but you're not yeah, gonna ever experience and you can see I already want to just go off the path you know I'm already like can I really go over here like can I really just walk past this like you feel like you should be on this path but you know I was just like I can really just go walk over there right now if I want to you know I can do whatever I want and uh, it's that sense of freedom that just makes this game terrible but like <laughs> great at the same time and what I mean by terrible is just uh, I want to keep playing it <laughs> I have that addictive personality where uh, you know I want to go everywhere except to the main objective I want to see everything first you know I want to like make sure I do everything possible before I have to go and basically as you can see that guy's telling me you know I need to go to this this little mill or whatever and literally like in game it's like a four minute walk from where I just was and of course I'm going off in the opposite direction right away I'm like holy cow look at all this look at all this forest and this, these mountains I want to go on the mountains I want to climb I want to like be a mountain climber oh my gosh there's an elk here holy crap a bunny I'm gonna try and kill it uh, oh I can't hit it with that apparently let me get out my bow and arrow and you know that's just exactly how my thought process was. I was like a little kid and I'm just running around this huge open expansive world that really just makes you go wow. Uh, the graphics just it, it's insane guys. Uh, <laughs> the limitless freedom you have and I obviously I, I'm pulling out my bow now and you know I decided I'm like I'm gonna go hunting now. Uh, does that have anything to do with the main story? Nope. But uh, I find a little patch of elk and you know I start going hunting. I'm shooting them trying to get used to the bow and arrow uh, which was really hard <laughs> I'll be honest especially when they're on the move and I'm trying to chase them down and whatnot but basically I, I mean I honestly think I spent like a whole good hour and a half uh, hunting animals and that has nothing to do with like any part of the story like there's no main there's nothing in the stories about hunting it's not a hunting game you know uh, but like that's just how much fun it is and just like how off track you can get uh, so if you're a person like me who likes to explore um, this game is going to offer you so much time. As you can see, I'm just killing some wolves and whatnot, still just completely walking around. And look at this. Uh, you know, <laughs> I kill some wolves and I meet this stray dog in the middle of a forest. Uh, why is he out here? I have no idea. And at first I'm like, oh shit, is he going to eat me? Because he kind of sounded like he was growling. Uh, but basically, me and him, we become good pals and he follows me around. You can see him here. We go on a little adventure together. And uh, he was just an awesome dog for the time I had him. I accidentally killed him. Uh, <laughs> which I actually felt bad about. Like, I felt this was like my life. Uh, this game really makes you, ooh, look at that third camera person. And now we're fighting orcs. You know, this game's just all over the place, uh, but incredibly fun. Uh, this game really just, it, it like takes you to a different place, and you can do so much stuff. Uh, it really does feel like a whole other world. Uh, just, I mean, all the possibilities of things you can do. I mean, you can go hunt, you can go get herbs, you can be a blacksmith. Uh, you can sell property, you can decorate your house, just the customization, the... I, I mean, I'm at a loss for words right now talking over this just because of... I mean, I played for four hours uh, yesterday. This is my first... These are, you know, like my first impressions. And I played for four hours. My main objective was to walk four minutes in game time to this place. And I played for four hours before I ever got to that four minutes. And that just showed, and I had fun the whole time. Like, that's the thing. Like, I could have kept doing it too. And here you see, I meet, I don't know what this was, uh, some type of leafy demon sorcerer. Bad, bad, bad person. And I don't know if I was supposed to be over here <laughs> yet or what. Um, and I was kind of still getting used to the game, so my fighting techniques weren't the best. I kind of felt like I was swinging at air, which I was. But basically, they kill me. And uh, that was like the first two hours of my game. And whoop, you know, I'm dead. And hey, here we go. We're back with this guy again, starting all over. And I'm like, all right. Uh, you know, I kind of explored. So you think, oh, you should go down the path to where he's actually supposed to go now, you know? I mean, just take a right right here, follow the path. And nope. We're gonna we're gonna keep exploring. We're gonna meet this hunter lady, and she really 
Uh, I tried to get her to talk to me over and over, but she was so focused, but she had the same haircut as me. I got this mohawk going on, she has a mohawk going on, and I'm like, man, you need to talk to me, you can be my woman, we can we can go hunt stuff together, it'll be awesome, and I couldn't get her to talk to me. Uh, eventually, though, I did. I kept talking to her over and over, and I think she just got annoyed, and she talked to me, but basically she told me to uh, bug off in a much more vulgar way, and I left. And I left and I found this place, this cave, and I was like, oh my gosh, I found a cave, what's in the cave? I gotta go. And uh, basically it was filled with wolves. And there was this wolf at the end, and he killed me. Uh, he killed me a lot of times, actually. And he was very difficult for me to, to defeat. And I was like, maybe I should turn around, but I was like, I'm, I'm gonna keep on trying. And I tried beating this wolf for about a good 20 minutes. Uh, here you can see, I'm dead. And uh, I try again, here we go, round two. I died again, and I was like, man, this sucks. Here we go, round three, we can do it this time. Third deluxe, nope, I'm dead again, sliding down the mountain. <laughs> but basically the fourth time around, uh, I finally beat him. Well, actually, I poisoned him, uh, which actually helped me win the fight after I poisoned my weapons. And yeah, that's just like another thing. You can poison your weapons with different things. There's just there's so much stuff you can do. And I get him to run away. Basically, I kill him. And after I kill him, I get enough experience to level up to level 2. And the leveling system in this is crazy. Like, I looked at this whole constellation deal they got going on. And uh, basically, when you level up, you can put your thing into three things. Magicka, health, or stamina. Magic's for like magic users. Health is just your overall health and stamina is like for running uh, and doing things of that sort. And then after that, you can specialize in a certain, uh, I don't even know what they're really called, but, uh, and there's a ton of these too. And I was just going around, I was like, man, I don't even know which one I wanted to do. But since I've been using two-handed weapons, I eventually ended up choosing uh, the two-handed perk, uh, choosing to you, it's not like you level it up from like say how there's like 15, 15 to 16. What it does is you go into it, and uh, so like I was level 26 in two-handed perks. Well, going into it, then I get to choose like um, almost like attacks or uh, benefits that you get, like 20% uh, extra damage with two-handed, and you can choose to keep leveling that up, like 40% extra damage, or you can like get a certain attack with two-handed weapons. And uh, basically, once I left this cave. Now I'm out in this like it's the the scenery is all different. It's snowing. Uh, it's kind of darker and whatnot. And there's these wolves, and I'm like, oh shit! I hope they're not like these big wolves like that first one, because there's no way I can get two. But uh, they weren't. They weren't two big baddies. Maybe my leveling up helped me do a little more damage. And I find this ruin. And this was my first animal. Uh, it was called the Animal Allegiance. Uh, but this was like my first shout. Uh, not shout, but I, I really can't remember what it's called. But Basically, once I kill a dragon and whatnot, I'll be able to use that. Uh, it's kind of like a talent since I'm a dragonborn. And here you can see the map. And obviously, the arrow's where I was supposed to go, over by that house. And I'm way off track. I, I really was just exploring. And it shows you <laughs> the map. I'm not even. Sh I'm only showing you like the bottom part of this map, and I the game like came with this foldout map I have. And look at this. Like you can catch lightning bugs. I, walk, I was walking around in the dark, and I was catching lightning bugs, it w and it was completely entertaining to me. I was like, wow, I just caught a lightning bug. And here we are, and I'm like, I was telling my girlfriend, she wanted to go eat. I was like, fine, I'll go I'll go to my objective, finally. And as I'm going, I go off this side trail over here, and I just tell her, I'm, she's watching me, and I'm like, look at this. Just look. And she's like, won't you fall off? And I was like, no, I can climb down that. I can climb down that. And I was like, just look at all these trees and all that stuff that way. You know, like, well, what's that way? I want to go that way. Uh, but she made me go back to my objective. So I turned around and went back. But it's just, ugh. And here you can see some character customization. This is at the beginning. And uh, this really improved on Oblivion. Uh, the characters look more realistic than they did before. And the amount of customization you have on each one is just ridiculous. Uh, I actually skipped over like half the customization features. I mean they go down to the smallest details like nose height, width, uh, placement, all this stuff and basically you name them once you're done. And I spent a good 10 minutes customizing my character and I wasn't even halfway done. Uh, so overall guys, this is a little snippet, uh, an exciting snippet. Uh, overall guys, you guys are really going to enjoy this game. I highly, highly, highly recommend you pick it up. Uh, they say there's over 350 hours. That's like 15 days worth of playtime. And uh, please remember to comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'm going to shut up now. It's been I tend to go beast mode with you guys. Peace out.